Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with my March favorites. I can't believe it's April. Uh, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing that. But um, yeah, I have a few favorites. Um, some that I just recently got at the end of March. But you know how you, you have love at first sight or smell or wear. So yeah, I have a few of those items and stuff that I've absolutely have used for a while and love. So yeah, these are my most recent favorites. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I've been loving, then stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to start with some perfumes I purchased off Old Look. I bought three different perfumes. Um, I wanted to show you guys the perfumes and the two out of the three that I absolutely love. But um, here we have Coach Poppy Blossom. This is a one fluid ounce. Um, it was on sale. And if you guys don't know, Old Look is like a, a website where stuff is highly discounted. Certain brands that you can find in Nordstrom, stuff like that. So they had designer fragrances up there. You guys know I'm a perfume lover. I absolutely love scents, perfumes, so yeah. I um, purchased Coach Poppy Blossom and I hadn't really smelled any of these in stores. I just went off of the reviews and the notes that they had on the website and I absolutely love Coach Poppy Blossom. It's the perfect spring and summer scent. It kind of smells like my Estee Lauder um, perfume. I'll leave the name down, I can't think of it right now, that I love to wear for nighttime wear. And this is kind of like a daytime, more fruitier version of that. I absolutely love this. I've been wearing it so much. And the next one I wore for me and Charles State Night to the comedy show. And this is Gucci Guilty. I'm sure you guys know of this. And none of these are like new fragrances, but yeah. Oh, Y'all don't know how this perfume made me feel. Like I was in love with this perfume when I wore it. Travis loved how it smelled on me. It's like this perfume, I don't know. I don't know, it just made me feel so good, like, yes. Uh, I don't know, I can't really explain it. It's a, it's, a, it's a mature scent, I'm not even gonna lie. So if you're like, I'm 25, so I'm not old. But um, if you're younger, you may not be into this, but it's like a mature, bold scent, but it's not like, you know, old person mature. It's just like a confident, grown woman scent. That's what it is. It's very sexy to me, grown woman. I just absolutely love this. I don't know if you can wear it during daytime or nighttime, but I would wear this at night, personally. And the last scent that I wasn't too fond of is this Vince Camuto Femme, and this is the largest size, um, the 3.4 fluid ounce. They had it for like a super discounted price, and I had to get it, and the notes seemed like it was okay, but this has like a cologne scent to it. And I don't know, like I tried it one day, and I haven't worn it since and I don't know it just has a, a cologne scent to me and I don't want to smell like a man some women may like that but when it settles it does have a nice scent I can't even really describe this scent it just smells cologne to me and it has like a little bit of pepper peppery I'll leave the notes for this perfume down below because if you guys um love Vince Camuto's Femme or you just want to try it for yourself or you think you may like it from the notes I will be giving this away so yeah, if you guys are interested in, you know, receiving this perfume for free, then stay tuned till the end of the video and I will have, I will let you know how you can receive this for free and I'll also have it in the description box down below. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so into my like absolute favorites, I'll start with the only hair product that I have and this is this Shea Moisture Clear Start Shampoo. I purchased this from Ulta. On, it was like on clearance when I got it, but I really love this when I first got it I wasn't too fond of it like because it doesn't really have a scent and I love my shampoos to have a scent But I had to use it multiple times and I love it. I love the way my hair feels. It's not super dry It lathers up really good on the first try and it says it removes buildup curl It provides curl definition and frizz control um, I feel like my curls were defined. If you guys um, saw my last video, I was reviewing the lavy hair, so my hair was straightened at the top. And I felt like I had to like straighten my leave out a lot during those two weeks that I wore straight. And um, so <clears throat> I was uh, unsure if my like waves would come back because the top of my hair is just wavy. It's not like, you know, a defined curl. It's just like a wave, which is a whole nother story. But um, yeah, it, it came right on back. So I don't know if it was the shampoo or not, but 
I love it and I love how big it is and how it's a it's a, in pump form so it's very easy and convenient so that's why I had to move back a little bit all right next we have this Dickinson's original witch hazel and it's in this little pack I believe I received this in my essence beauty box a long time ago because you guys know they um, discontinued that monthly box and this says it's soap and fragrance free for gentle skincare and there are like three different wipes in this sample form but I do plan on purchasing this because I loved the um, witch hazel in the cloth form like the cloth was not like super irritating to my skin and it was just so much easier to cleanse my face with it instead of having to pour it on the cotton pad or whatever but you guys know I love to use a uh, Dickinson's witch hazel as a toner so I love these wipes and I do want to purchase a box of these continuing with the skincare I recently purchased this simple um, sensitive skin protecting light moisturizer I ran out of some daytime moisturizer so I was searching for a moisturizer and I ran across this and I absolutely love it so much it, it feels like a lotion it's unscented and you know it has SPF of 15 it smells like sunscreen a little bit it has a light scent it's not very strong at all but I love it like I feel like it moisturizes my skin it doesn't make me super oily it's just perfect so if you guys are looking for a new moisturizer I would check this out and at night time oh my gosh I'm so glad I got this I've been using this oil it's the Palmer's coconut oil formula this is the luminous hydration facial oil I sometimes use this in the in the daytime as well but I'm just going to stick to it at using it at night <sighs> this is probably like well I wouldn't say it's my top favorite but it's my second top favorite out of all my favorites I love this so much first off it comes with this little dropper right here and I have not even refilled this dropper at all I'm spilling it but um, I love this oil so much. I use it on my face and my neck and my decollete area. And it's amazing. You would think that using oil to moisturize your face would make you like super oily. But it doesn't at all. Even when I was using it at daytime and then putting on my makeup, it didn't at all. And I feel like my neck, because I told you guys I have like eczema or something. I don't know what it is. But my neck would get like really itchy and dark and it even looks like it lightened up a little bit because it gets really irritated and dry and itchy there and I tell you I swear to you not I believe this oil like cleared it up all the way it doesn't itch at all it looks lighter like love this oil so much it was like ten dollars in Walmart and I was just like ten dollars for this little bottle of oil but you a little goes a long way and like I said I haven't even refilled the dropper since I opened it so love 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 this if you're looking for a, like a nighttime moisturizer or even daytime I recommend this oil all right we have four more items and they're all makeup items can you guys take a guess of what you think is going to be and my makeup items just from my recent videos all right so I'm sure you guys guessed this but of course it's the wet and wild photo focus foundation my shade is in toffee I'm wearing it today along with the photo focus concealer and their highlight I didn't include the powder but I'll let you guys know why but um this foundation this concealer they're my top favorite out of all of my favorites in this video because it's absolutely amazing. It looks very natural. First off, the color matches me perfectly and the concealer is great. It's like natural looking, but it also gives you like a highlight underneath your eyes, but not like too much like where are you going looking like a clown, like seems to be trend right now. But I absolutely love this so much. I don't know. I just can't get enough of this foundation. It looks so natural. I, I just they and I've never been a wet wet and wild has never been on my list for foundations but this is definitely my favorite foundation right now and I absolutely love the applicator because you can scoop the edges of this foundation when you're about to run out and I wish all of my foundations had that because you guys know I like to empty my makeup and I do project pan so this would be like a necessity for all foundations now if you're into emptying your your products and this concealer I love it because it's so natural it doesn't cake up it doesn't crease under in my um, under eye lines or crow's feet whatever you want to call them 
and it's just so it's not too thick it's not too thin it blends out evenly perfectly it's just amazing so yeah love this and the um highlight is just absolutely gorgeous i've been wearing this to work i have it on now it's just so pretty here's a swatch on my hand i just love it I'm in love with like everything wet and wow. And the last product is the Maybelline Master Blush Palette. Um, I don't know if they had different shades. I believe this, this was the only shade in the store. But this is what it looks like. This is the highlight and these are the three blushes. I've mainly been using this like nude neutral blush right here. And I have it on my face today. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I absolutely love this blush palette. Um, I told y'all about the, uh, contour palette that they have, which is right here. It comes with a contour, a blush, and a highlight. I absolutely love this too. So I had to try the blush and I'm in love. So if you guys, I recommend this for beginners, especially in the, if, in the drugstore, because you have a palette. I feel like when you have a palette, I know it's a lot easier to deal with when things are in a palette form. So you have your highlight and your blush all in one. I'll do some swatches for you. Here's the one that I have. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I've never tried these other colors. Just mainly the one that I have on. But this one at the end is so pretty. It will be perfect for fall. Yes. Look at that. That's so pretty. But yeah. I love this palette so much. So yeah, I think that's it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. So now for the giveaway. I'm giving away this Vince Camuto Femme Oude Parfum. It's a 3.4 fluid ounce. I'll leave the notes down below. I'm not even going to look them up right now. Um, but just know it has a cologne scent. So if you're a female, a woman who doesn't mind cologne scents, or you even know of this scent and you love it, and you want it for free, just um, comment your Instagram, your Instagram name down below. And then follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me. And make sure. Yeah, here is the box that you'll receive it in. It looks like this. Just showing you guys. It's brand new. I squirted it once and haven't worn it since. Um, and this is the bottle up close. A cute bottle. I love the bottle, by the way. It's beautiful. And that's how it looks. Vince Camuto Femme. So, yeah. I'm giving this away so make sure you guys do that I'll have my Instagram link down below like I always do but I'll actually have the link this time to make it a little bit more easier for you and I'll be waiting for the response and if nobody wants it then I'll just sell it on Poshmark so I'll have my Poshmark link down below as well um, that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up I love you guys so much and I'll see y'all in my next video bye